If you can find one. Those aren't mine. Here. Why don't you give it back? Okay. Okay, guys. First thing, we've talked, I I don't know if I did, I did my other class. What's a function? <laughs> That's right. If something's functioning, it's working right. If you put money in every input, there's exactly one output. Well, that's physics. <laughs> so, well, now exactly one means I better get one out. So if I put my money in the pop machine, I better get a pop back out, right? Yeah. Okay, David? So that's what you mean by function. Your calculators are function machines. You put a number in and you do something to it. You add or you square root, whatever. You better get an answer. If you don't get an answer, you're not happy. But you're not happy if you get two answers either. However, if I put my money in the pop machine and I get two pops out, I'm still not unhappy. Right? Yeah. You get two Cokes out of there, not bad. But it's bad for them. It's bad for them. Yeah. You say the, the machine is not functioning. Okay. What's a domain? No. These are the allowed X values. Allowed inputs. I shouldn't have said X's. I apologize. Because you could be talking about your position as, an, as a function of time. Where are you at 8 o'clock in the morning? Your input is the time. Can time be negative? Yeah. No. Well, it depends on how you look at it. If you want to look at it, where was I eight hours ago, then time would be negative relative to, that, to today. So these are your allowed inputs. Can you square root a negative number? No. No. Okay. Ready? So the domain is what you put in, and the range is what you get out. So I may have to help you with that. Okay, so when you do this worksheet, which I have no extras, I started with a line because I, I want you to remember how to do tables. Okay? You can do tables however you want. Fill in the tables with X is zero, what's Y? Okay, so we're doing tables for this. Now, I think that'll ripple on the board too. When you get a shape that looks like this, that's called a parabola. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing different things with parabolas. This point at the lowest value is called the vertex. Now, I'll tell you what. On your tests and quizzes, you may want to have some notes. So, I mean, I'm, I'll give you notes and you can bring them in because there's a lot of vocabulary here. And how we write the equation is going to look different. So if you do y equals x squared, that's one of them. And then the next one, y equals 2x squared. Do I multiply by 2 first and then square, or do I square? I square first, then double my answer. So I'll come around and check. The question is, what is that 2 going to do? Are there some quick graphing techniques? Sorry, I have to keep the other ones out. Okay? The ones that don't belong here. Okay. What if I do y equals minus x squared? These are all questions on the worksheet. What if I do minus x squared? No. This. What's true about x squared? x squared is always greater than or equal. It could be zero, though, couldn't it? It's always positive or zero. So when I do this, my numbers will always be negative. So I'm going to have negative outputs. Those are just some hints. So that's what we want to do is we want to work on that. It shouldn't take all hour. But first I should get the lines one, that packet of the lines, the lines worksheet. And the only reason why I gave that to you is because some of you were happy, struggling with the tables. So I said, well, let's do those then because we should be able to graph anything with the table. If I do y equals x cubed, I can find out what that graph looks like by just 
taking some numbers, inputting some numbers, and then cubing it and graphing them. In fact, you could do that as extra if you finish early. Try this one. <laughs> Problem is you're going to get numbers big fast. Okay, and then we're doing the parabola worksheet. Several of you still have a factoring test to take. So let's take that during class today for those who are at least of you who are ready. Uh, parabola worksheet. Then tomorrow, because I want you to know what it is, and tomorrow we'll start getting into forms and different things we can do with these things. And we have a four-day week this week. So you have Friday off. And then it's still uh, four weeks till spring break. So it's still a long haul. This is the toughest time of the year, at least I think it is. 